Bombredo from Made in Abyss and he is looking pretty darn great. By the way, this is the DX version, Gangway version, whatever you want to call it, the Morning Star version. And he's looking great. He even has his white whistle. Um, this figure, I mean, in terms of detailing, it's awesome. Check out all the detailing on the tail, which looks great. The canister as well. Man, he just looks so darn awesome. He's just looking great. The arms. And by the way, I'm loving the new Figma stand. I'm really loving it. Just all the detailing, you know, the gum metal colors. Um, he just looks so darn great. So let's go and check out the articulation, his accessories and all that stuff. So let's go. Okay, guys, here you can see all the accessory that he comes with. As you can see there, you're getting quite a lot of hands and of course we're getting that extra head with the Sparagamos effect parts on there and of course the figure in the stand. Here you can see how the helmet, this, still, this one is included with the normal version by the way. Um, I'll give you a better look and more detailed look at the other one which is the one that uses the battery. And you can see that the Spyro Gamos looks freaking great. I love the blue color and then it slowly turns into that yellowish golden color which looks so awesome. That is that's probably one of my favorite part, parts of the effect parts. Man, that is so cool. And you can see here all the different hands you get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different hands here and they look great now I don't not like what they did here now normally Figma what they do is when it comes to the hands they give you like a, a, a hang rack is what I call it and it's just a little piece of plastic with the different pegs and you put the hands there but this time they decided to go with these which is actually pretty weird and they're like each hand has like this little peg but it's also a stand I don't know um, it's weird but I, I kind of like it I kind of dig it you know um, but hopefully that is something temporary hopefully they don't do that again um, I, I some people can say yeah it's just to save plastic and stuff I don't think this saves more plastic than the other one because the other one is just one solid piece of plastic you know that you can just pretty printed pretty easy and these one looks like you're gonna have to take your time on them but but who knows maybe they can in the same amount of time they make one big piece they might be able to pull out 100 of these who knows so let's check out the articulation the head can move right this much and left that much which is great uh, obviously this is gonna get in the way a little bit but not that much and but this is the big thing that's gonna get in the way yeah um, the little necktie or scarf whatever you want to call it uh, here you can see up and you can see how it gets in the way and down not that much now the arm is actually very interesting because it goes up this and look it has butterfly joints which is pretty cool uh, not the best ones, but still pretty good. Now you got the full 90 here, but you get more because, of course, you're gonna be able to do that Sparagamos. And there you go, put that joint there, which is pretty darn awesome. I love that. Really a nice addition, of course. Ball joint wrist, that's normal. The swivel. And. Here is the act crunch, which he has quite a lot, especially when you act crunch like that. That's pretty cool. Now the legs, the coat here is 100% uh, movable, as you saw there. So the leg is pretty free. The foot articulation is good, as you can see there, no problems. And the toe articulation only goes up, does not go down for the boot, but that's okay. Now, here, <laughs> it, it looks great, doesn't it? It looks good. That cut there looks pretty darn good. 
very well done. Now the last thing of course is the tail and I'm a little bit disappointed about the tail. Um, as you can see it's on a ball joint but there's not really a lot of articulation there uh, especially on the middle part of the tail. There's really nothing there and only you know the tip is fully articulated but I wish they would have given us you know more it's solid it's solid but they should have given us more articulation on the tail um, and because we could have done so many great poses with it but yeah that does it for the articulation let's go and check out the canister okay so the canister here has a little trick you can actually open it up which is cool revealing yes the rest of the canisters ho 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 the rest of the human organs with the drug cocktail but this actually opens up fully and you can see all of them just cool now the instruction says you can only pull out two so that's as much as i pull out but you can take them out which is great and that is pretty cool that they actually added that and this thing just the colors the way it feels it doesn't feel cheap it's pretty cool now you might be wondering how you put it back well you put it back like this and then you lock it in that's it now let's take a better look at the canisters so here's one of the canisters um if you have the one pre-order from good smile you probably got the canister that is open and leaking um it's the same thing it's the same canister and everything a uh, really cool detail is that you see the pinkish inside there which is really darn creepy right because we know what's inside there we know that there's organs and there's and it used to be somebody you know which is pretty pretty hardcore so now that we have checked that how about we go and check out the led head okay so the led head you start by removing the mask yes Pompano doesn't have a face and then you remove the top part it's actually pretty easy and this is where you have to be careful now this is the led unit this is what we have really small right led on the front there and we got the switch the on and off switch up here now be very careful with that switch you could break it now here's where the batteries go but i don't have the batteries for mine because they haven't arrived from amazon yeah i haven't got any information on them so yeah i'll probably be making a separate video when i get them to show you guys how they work but it's pretty easy it's actually pretty cool the way they did i wish they would have went with a usb one but still let me show you how it might look this light is not the correct one it's kind of bluish so it's gonna look different but let me just get a better handle over here and see that's how it, 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 it's gonna look um but remember the led light that you're getting the actual thing is actually a lot better and it's probably gonna be a different color so let me give you a better look at that unit here you can see the led light unit and like i said it's very freaking simple it's very simple there's nothing crazy about it heck it's it, it's nice i like the idea and like i said I haven't gotten my batteries if you were wondering by ba what batteries they are I'm gonna put it up on the screen those are the batteries that you need to get they're pretty cheap on Amazon I got 40 of them for five bucks yeah and I still haven't got them shipped yet they said that supposedly I was gonna get it um, on Monday but we'll have to wait and see but yeah that that is the LED unit just be careful with it don't lose it you know because there's, I think you can put a wire inside the head. I guess you can do a couple things, but uh, try not to lose this thing and try not to break it, honestly. So, let's go and check out some poses.
So guys, you just saw some posts. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did the best I could right now. I want to do more. Honestly, I want to do even more of them. But once I guess the LED light, I can do more stuff because I've been testing out a few shots with everything turned off and some color lights and all that. And it's looking pretty badass. But I'm gonna keep it for when I get that those batteries. But this is cool. Now, uh, final thoughts here about this figure. This figure is. Wow, it, it, it's cool. Now, obviously, in terms of the articulation, it, it does have some hindrance. You know, the head can go down all the way you want without removing the neck tie. Um, the tail, man, I wish the tail was a little bit more split up, especially in the middle part. I wish you could have more range for articulations with it because you could do some a lot of really cool attacks but you can't do them, them here with that so that is pretty sad but the rest of the figure is pretty solid i mean the rest of the figure um the terms of the articulation everything else is working fine nothing has fallen off the canister looks great the pockets the whistle the helmet the detailing it the boots i mean it just goes to show you how far along Figma has come with their armors and that is something that I have to say my god the people complain about the price but you have to understand something the armors that Figma is producing nowadays is just amazing amazing we saw it with Lady Maria we saw we saw it with Goblin Slayer which I'm gonna show you some pictures now of Goblin Slayer next to the Pombrello, which is pretty awesome. And it's just wow. It, it, they have really outdone themselves when it comes to that. Their armors are looking amazing. And that's the whole debate now because now Figma is making um, Elder Ring figures and SA Trigger Arts too. And now it's gonna be who is gonna have the better figure? I don't know. I think um, a lot of people are thinking that SH Trigger Arts are gonna keep the prices low to 30 bucks. I say don't hold your breath. Something tells me that they might actually increase the price a lot more. Something tells me they're gonna charge Figma prices for them. Um, but Figma, yeah, they're gonna be around the $100 range. Now, in terms of pricing this figure, you know, I got it for. 98 I think a guy from Hawaii in Japan that that was the price that I got which was a little bit cheaper obviously um is it worth 100 uh, that depends I mean it depends on how much you love the series depends on how much you love the character in my opinion this figure was worth it because it, it, it just it looks so darn cool it looks so darn cool. I have no regret regrets with this figure. The only thing is, like I said, I, I would have given the tail a little bit more articulation. And when it stands by itself, if the tail is not down, down, uh, it does tend to fall over. But you can counteract that. And the stand, I'm loving the stand. This the, the new Figma stand is just great. The, this thing is doing an amazing job. But darn. I have to say, this figure was an awesome buy. It's an awesome buy, honestly. It's, it's something that you can have on your display and people are gonna go like, huh, where's that from? Because I have friends that have already been like, um, is that from Bloodborne? Is that from this game? And I'm like, no, this is from an anime. <laughs> and they go like, wait, 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 this guy's from an anime, what? He, he just looks like a final boss. He looks like a boss in a video game, you know, in, in Bloodborne, which is gonna be pretty cool. Oh my god, when I get Lady Maria and the Bloodborne Hunter, the pictures I'm gonna take of those the, together, it's gonna be awesome. I want to have the whole crew, but I'm gonna leave that from when I get the LED light because we have to do the gangway, we have to, we have to do the Spurgamos, we have to do all that stuff. So. That's gonna be that's gonna take some while, but hopefully I can get them 
but yeah if you're on the fence of this maybe i don't know um you can get the normal version or you can get this one i suggest you get this one this one it just this is more special man and honestly you you get everything you need um darn I, I think the normal version doesn't have the tail if I remember correctly there's there's some differences but I really don't remember that so yeah guys uh, that does for this video hope you guys enjoyed it please like comment subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time